Hi everybody, you found what to say next. We're doing everything that is awesome in gaming. Like this! Doing Fallout 2. Because we like to do things in order. Everything in its place, and in its place everything. Fallout uh, was an iconic franchise. It broke through the barrier that um, Wasteland and so on. We're starting a bridge. And it brought the old world with it. The old American world. So there was a real change. Not a lot of people bothered to give us our history. They did fairy tales from the actual old world from Europe. The cradle of civilization. Um, but we're a mixed group. So this was awesome because it took like 20s, 50s, and it brought that along with it. Obviously, we got new. It's, you know, at this point, we just know this. And uh, we're down in vaults. So, line up in an orderly fashion. This is where you live. It doesn't really do, like, anything other than give you the classic Fallout guy for um, a point of reference. You're not going to get super involved in Fallout life. We do have a Fallout shelter. Linked on the channel, um, where if you do want to play Fallout Shelter, you can build your own vault and experience vault life. So that is an option. That one's free on mobile. Be prepared to live life anew with help from the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. So they do did start sending people back and forth between the uh, vaults. Rock and roll, yo! We want to go a traveling. Uncle Samuel wants us. Samuel. Samuel. Get hip to the lingo. Go exploring. Let's do it. A lot of this is really classic for those of you who skipped the first few. Obviously, you still know. Fall Out Boy, your Pit Boy, etc. We did download um, Fallout London, so we should get into that shortly. Our version of shortly, we do still run on uh, working time. I haven't managed to break the mold just yet. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! War. 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 Pretty much as we had predicted. Too many humans, not enough space or resource to go around. The details are trivial and pointless. Oh, I the reasons, as always, purely okay. human ones. The earth was nearly wiped clean of life. A great cleansing, an That's atomic quick. spark struck by human hands, quickly raged out of control. Oh, Spears of nuclear fire rained from the skies. Oh, under the dust were swallowed in flames. And you just cut that off before my generation. Humanity was almost extinguished. Their spirits becoming part of the background radiation that blanketed the Earth. A quiet darkness fell across the planet, lasting many years. Few survived the devastation. Some had been fortunate enough to reach safety, taking shelter in great underground vaults. When the great darkness passed, these vaults opened and their inhabitants emerged to begin their lives again. One of the northern tribes claims they are descended from one such vault. They hold that their founder and ancestor, one known as the Vault Dweller, once saved the world from a great evil. According to their legend, this evil arose in the far south. It corrupted all it touched, twisting men inside, turning them into beasts. Only through the bravery of this Vault Dweller was the evil destroyed. But in so doing, he lost many of his friends and suffered greatly, Aww. sacrificing much of himself to save the world. That's terrible. When at last he returned to the home he had fought so that hard sucks. to protect, he was cast out, exiled. In confronting that which they feared, he had become 
something else in their eyes, and no longer their champion. Forsaken by his people, he strode into the wasteland. He traveled far to the north, until he came to the great canyons. There he founded a small village, Aww. Arroyo, where he lived out the rest of his years. And so, for a generation since its founding, Arroyo has lived in peace, its canyons sheltering it from the outside world. It is home. He was a cool dude. Your home. He got his own village. But the scars left by the war have not yet healed, and the earth has not forgotten. The earth hasn't forgotten, my goodness. That is quite the statement there, senor. Alright, we're gonna do a new game. Alright, we click on the... What do we click on? Radio buttons! Why do we do it? Alright, Narg story. Exceptional physique, best hunters in the tribe. We can modify, we can take, we can create, we can go back. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take an arc. Obviously there is customization Amen, available. Chosen one. Part of the MO. There are things you must know. Hi. The village is dying. The signs are everywhere. Withering crops. Oh, that's a crop. Dying I was like, brawling. what on earth? Ooh. Wow. So things are in a declining state here. Sick children. Those are kids. Cheekbones there are kind of low. There is hope, however. A slim hope. That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. Go and get it. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. Neat. It's got. It's got you know piping and vials. Of course, this, this is gonna work. Will be your quest if you prove yourself worthy. Oh. For that proof. You must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. This is two parts. Life is in your hands, chosen one. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Part one. Be our salvation. You know, pass, pass the trial. Get to part two later. Yes, look at how cute I am. It's got the little circle under my feet. I go talk to people. Let's find out, friend. Oh, I'm at the temp. Look at that. See, they started me up right straight away. We go to the temple. I'm just gonna learn. You see, Clint, fellow tribesman. You see rocks. Okay, so I can look around by right clicking. You see scrub. What do I know about this? You see temple. I have no articles, and they are not letting that stop them. All right, we're going in, son. Go with me, friend. Don't walk in front of me, don't walk behind me, walk beside me. And I'll just walk like right in the middle here. Oh, there we go, see? We're like totally, totally straight out there. I'm in a dungeon? Look at me! Oh, that's out. Okay, no, I'm supposed to want to go forward. Alright, so I've identified an enemy. You see giant ant. How do I fight giant ant? Seems important. Strong kick! Just click a button. What do we do with radio buttons? We click them. Click them like it's okay. Click. Target out of range. You want me to get closer to this thing? We're gonna kick it. Kick it. Do it up! Make mama proud. Want it? Yeah boy! Obviously we kick its head which is like 10 feet above its body. That's we're throwing it off. I need four action points. But we fall back a little. That seems like a good idea. I will literally just turn my bot back to it and then run out of action points. Let's do that. Will it know I'm here? Nobody knows. I'm gonna end our turn. Obviously this is turn based. Obviously they have a strong sense of smell. Ironically, uh, ants really do have a strong sense of smell. They um is four action points. Giant ant was hit for 12 points and killed. Look at me go. My goodness, girl. So that that other one is gonna hit my radar in a minute. Where are you? Did I go around it? Am I that talented? Not just gonna open it for me, huh? Alright. Let's go, buddy. 
I'm feeling confident now. Cocky, even. Hit for six points. So yeah, traditionally this would pop up on a little um, side box in the triptych. But uh, it expanded outward and we were able to, you know, just kind of make it all one thing. For slaying your opponents, you earn 25 experience points. Sir, what is this? You see a door. I Placing my hand on it, it knows that I'm chosen one. It knows. You, you should know too. Like, we all know this. Thank you! My goodness. I don't think it gives you a lot in the way of objects. Oh, neat. That is a really good way to do uh, a dungeon. I wanted to check this out for things like that. Oh, God, this scorpion. Tell you what. Um, do I want to hit it for one kick? It is, you know, that's going to be a pretty strong opponent. Target is not out of... Sir? Tell you... Tell you sincerely. Kabam! Hit for nine points. And then nothing. Only this and nothing more. Um, but as far as building, great way to use walls and uh, movement. Good turn-based combat. So off the drop, it owned that. We'll just close. Just do it. Ow! Ooh, oh, and I got poison. Okay. Well, I die in every game. We haven't done that yet this session. Obviously, we're going to get in there and try. <laughs> Anything. Just scratch my head. Incense burner. So I'm allowed to identify objects, but it doesn't look like um, we're going to use a standard D&D style loot system here. So we are going to grind our way through this. Link in the description below. Also down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. Go put your logo on merch for like nothing bucks. Um, you can get great Gamer Coffee there for a little extra kick in your, in your morning. Um, what else do we have going on? Oh, if I double click, I run. Look at that. I knew that. Door appears to be locked. Alrighty then. Just run around. This is hilarious. Alright, and it locks on. I mean, that's when you slow down. Really great way to do that. Innovative. But it was known for that. You know, we loved our dice topics back in the day. Most of all, you know, KFI, buy the shaker coffee, one dollar, make me smell, or Patreon, make it support us there. We give you more behind the scenes as well, so, you know, definitely stop by and just say hi. We do bring you everything that's awesome in gaming, especially with regards to like interface or narrative, game design. We want something that brings something to the table. So that's kind of a, a mainstay uh, in what to play next world. We kind of don't want to play something unless it did something. Why can't I hit this guy with a kick? Look, I'm just sitting here missing. Let me just take him out. Can I run away? Is that an option? Oh, that was a horrible time to try that. Hold on. Am I able to run? That's a good game function thing to know. Because that thing is pretty slow, and I think it loops around. So I can't run while it's clocking me. These are the weird things that we test to see if the game is good for you. Like I said, smash subscribe, hit the bell, it'll pop you up a little thumbnail. So if you're a fan of the series and you hadn't played this installment, you wanted to see if it was worth it, it definitely is. As if you like turn-based combat, if you like, you know, this sort of um, grindy dungeon style environment, if you like RPGs in general, it's got the high points from all of them. So uh, two thumbs up. They did a great job with it. We love it. We even like the pro tag and they don't really, like I said, for backstory, they do tend to give you you know, just Pip-Boy and the story of the vault. You know, like, that's what you get. You get your people's history. So we're going to limp our way around this dungeon and see what's going on. But we love you guys. We love that you're always along for the ride. And we'll see you, that awesome person right there, next video. Get out of range! You cannot fast travel! Enemies are near! Your mother was a mud crab and your father smelt of elderberries. I have 37 hit points. I don't think that's going to kill me in time. Can I have an entertaining death for you? I apologize. Oh, it doesn't link. Look at me. That would have been a minute. How do I get through that locked door? 
It must be a key. I thought that's a key right there. No, no. 